And more napkins. He's checking his team about a happy birthday. He lost the banner. Went down the side of the fridge because he tried the to back hide of the fridge. The back of the fridge because he tried to hide everything. And it slipped. And, and it I, slipped. I heard it go down and I was like, <laughs> no. And it was too late because obviously I had to put pools. But you didn't in. think. I didn't know there was to use the other happy birthday I didn't banner. Know it was in there, otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. But I've been very, very, very spoilt. I will show you. What's he eating? Probably something to right. do. Been very spoilt. I'll show you now, actually, quickly. I'll show you that in a minute. So I've got an Apple Watch. Apple Watch. <laughs> yeah, I've got an Apple Watch. I've got an Apple Watch strap from Charlie. This is from Coconut Lane because actual Apple Watch straps are stupid amounts of money. And this website that I really like have um, like their own strap brand straps. And Charlie got me this one. It's called Almond White, and it's one of their metal ones that wraps around like that. Because my Apple Watch strap is pink and it's going dark and I don't really like the pink because it, it doesn't really go with what I wear so Charlie kindly got me this he then got me a high smile whitening pen he's not saying my teeth are yellow but I like to whiten my teeth he got me some razors again he's not saying I'm hairy but <laughs> I need them for my razor um he then got me a little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> Some rosé prosecco because it's two of my favourite things in one. I love prosecco and I love rosé. And then he got me some face masks. So we got an Zika sheet mask. Soothes and hydrates skin. We've got niacinamide sheet mask. Why can I read that but I can't read that? I don't know. Nice and one sheet mask which balances the skin and then we've got a moisturizing vitamin E sheet mask. That's all I got. No, it's not. I've got something that's wrapped around my body that's not gonna leave for the rest of the day. Give you a quick close-up of a bag it came in. Coat! <laughs> Ta-da! It's called the Tabby Bag. The Tabby Bag, and it's genuine in genuine pebbled leather, and it's gold hardware, and I love it so much. And it comes with the strap that goes across, but it's in its own little dust bag in there because I'm going to wear it across my body today. But I'm absolutely in love. This is my first ever design a bag that's been bought for me because I've got my YSL one but I bought that with all my birthday money a few years back and I absolutely love this so I've been very very spoiled this morning right, morning everyone so it is my birthday as you would have seen um I did show you what I briefly got my birthday but we're now already well I say ready I'm not wearing makeup today I've just straight my hair good indication absolute idiots um oh can I say lots of traffic so I should have got the go that way then um yeah we're now off into town and Charlie's going to treat me to a breakfast. I am starving. Wait, I'm treating you to a breakfast? Yeah, you said you're treating me to breakfast. Oh, 
Okay. You're, you're, are your parents going to help you now? It's your birthday. Remember when it was your birthday and you were the one to bring sweets into school? Oh, so, so I've got to do the breakfast. Yeah. I never bought sweets in school. My mum bought the sweets yeah. <laughs> in school. So you're buying breakfast. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm now off into town to go have a nice breakfast at the trading post, which I absolutely love. It's my go to place to have a nice breakfast or like a brunch can't fault any of the food I've ever had there but yeah so this more today is just going to be a very very chilled one not a lot planned well nothing planned at all apart from this breakfast um so yeah we're going to go have breakfast and then I think well we need to go do a bit of a food shop um because We've got some friends round on Sunday. Hey, Charlie! Oh, he should have waited. No, he was, was no, he was already going through this. Uh, we can't get through there. Loads of oh, Someone's a very dangerous driver in the morning without eating breakfast. <laughs> you need something to make that brain work. <laughs> you do sometimes. Anyway. I was trying to say what we're doing today. Yeah, we need to do a bit of a food shop um, for next week because Saturday is the coronation and I'm not going to have time to do my food shop then. Um, and I don't want to go Friday before Saturday because I think everybody's going to have the same idea and nothing's going to be available. Oh, that van was coming then. <laughs> um, and Sunday we've got some of our neighbours coming round for a barbecue. Um, so I don't want to really do that in the morning Sunday because again I think everybody's going to have the same idea and get last minute bits but um, we could always do a full food shop on the Monday but what I'm saying is we need stuff for the barbecue so I think that's what we might do today yeah mm -hmm. so after the, the breakfast potter around the town for a bit I need to order my mum's birthday what was that? That's my need to order my mum's birthday present from my dad um, so that can cover time because a week tomorrow is my mum's birthday she was born on the 11th of May oh, fun fact I was supposed to be born on her birthday but I wasn't I was early were you early? I don't were you, know, I can't remember. you can't remember well obviously you can't remember but as your mum said I don't know <laughs> oh. um, but yeah and then after we've gone into town I think we're just going to go home Maybe walk Frank. Yeah, can do. Um, see when Charlie's mum finishes work, pop in to see her, and then if my mum and Nan are free, pop in and see them. And then in the early evening, we're going to go to my mum and dad's, well, my parents' house, to see my sister as well. I'll have bre uh, breakfast there, dinner there, and probably do some more presents. But yeah. It's a nice day. I've only ever had one birthday. What? Should I go that way? No, that way. Oh, actually, yeah. Quickly. Oh, sorry. Nearly <laughs> killed some pedestrians. <laughs> um, I've never had a birthday. One, one. Sorry, I've had one birthday where it's been raining, and the rest of my birthdays I can always remember have always been nice and sunny. So. One of them day, then one of those days is today. It's nice and sunny today. Might be a bit hot in my sweatshirt and leggings, but <gasps> that's what I'm wearing today. Got the bag out, taking the long strap off. Well, not the long strap, the shoulder strap, because I'm having a crossbody today. Yeah, we're nearly in town, and I will catch up with you when we're sat down for breakfast. Look at that, can you see that? It's for the king's coronation. Andrew's in the window, Harry's in the window. Oh, they always do like cool little things.
Lovely weather, but you've got to do adult things sometimes. This is one of them. I don't know what we're going to do though later. What when we get back after yeah. this? We could play a board game outside or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 23, not fucking 63. We could take Frank for a walk, yeah. but it's a floor too hot. Might be a bit too hot for him. We'll see, but we're gonna go in now so we can get this over and done with. Hello, everybody. So we're now back home. Um, I'm gonna go for a bike ride because it is just gone half 12 and we're still both really full from our breakfast, so we don't want any lunch. <clears throat> so we thought, why don't we go for a nice bike ride because it is a really nice day today, really warm out there. Um, and we were thinking of walking Frank, but where he's a flat nosed dog and also where it's warm on the well when he's a flat nosed dog you shouldn't really walk dogs if you're hot outside you should definitely not walk your dogs outside like whether or not they're, they're flat nosed or normal um but also because the floor is hot that will burn his feet um like any other dogs so we're not going to walk him we're going to go for a bike ride instead Birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tilly. Happy birthday to you. Did you wish? Yeah. Thank you. That's all right. I thought I'd get that one. Right, we're home now. Can I bike ride? Well, we've been home for a while. We both fell asleep on the grass outside because <laughs> it was very nice, nice and warm. And then a massive bang happened because my bike fell off, <laughs> fell from, it was up against the fence. I thought it nearly fell on my head. So it woke us all up. But anyway, and then Charlie's mum and Nan just popped round, gave me my cards, which was lovely. And some birthday money, which was greatly appreciated. Why is it like that? Oh, whatever. Um, but Charlie, as you would have just seen, has just put me out my birthday cake. Mm, pardon, had a little slice of that. And then we're going to be going over to my parents' house soon. I said to Charlie, I said to them I'd get there between 5 and 5.30. What time should we leave? We'll leave in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, my phone needs to go on charge because it's on 3%. So we'll quickly do that, and then we'll feed the dog. Oh, yeah. And then we'll be going. Right, so it's now nearly half five, and we're nearly at my mum and dad's. Um, yeah, my phone's not got much charge, so I won't be filming much, but I wasn't planning on filming Just charge much. Just when you get there. Yeah. Make sure you put it on charge as soon as you get there. Yeah, but I wasn't planning on um, filming a lot anyway, just relaxing and eating food so yeah we're nearly there okay if the quality is better it's because we're on charlie's phone i have tried filming this on my phone but i've run out of storage so that's great but it's now the next day um and we've been up and out it's now quarter to six well probably a little bit later now since i've said that last and we've been to brighton um didn't get anything well i've got a dress that i'm gonna return from to h&m because i don't like it i've tried it on and it just doesn't suit me and then i got some earrings from a jewelry shop in brighton as well so yeah nothing really to show or shout about 
but I thought I'd show you everything that I got present wise for my birthday um, because I did a rough recap on no I roughly showed you like of the morning on my birthday yesterday what Charlie got me but I got more presents in the evening for my family so I thought I'd quickly show you that oh my hand oh by the way I've caught the sun yesterday on our bike ride I, I caught the sun on my hands there like the palms of my hands so you can't really see it there that one you can and then we came back and we fell asleep on the grass and I've burnt my face it was worse yesterday and this morning it's like calm oh, down oh that's gone down a lot actually now yeah. it's calmed down which is good I haven't really looked at you since taking it <laughs> but anyway so I thought I'd show you what I've got so firstly I'll start with the t-shirts because they're right in front of me so I've got some t-shirts from my mum and dad this one's from H&M. I was just saying to Charlie, I think that says The Garden or something in French. Not very good. Probably doesn't, because I did fail my French. So that's nice. I like that. And then I got this one. It says California Sports Club. That's from... New look. From my mum and dad. Um, Because I like little t-shirts like this just to wear with jeans and like a jacket over the top um next i don't really know where else to go i'll show you what i've got here i'll show you the bag again um so this is the bag that charlie got me i absolutely love it i want to take it to work tomorrow but no it's not practical um like i said it does come with a strap over but because i've been using it like day to day i have the crossbody strap on it's got seven pockets inside. It's very spacious. It keeps my phone, my purse and the keys all in it. Whereas I've got my YSL bag and that's really small. Like I can hardly fit anything in there. And then I've got my other day-to-day -day, like weekend bag that's got like a chain on it from Zara and that was ripping all my hair out. So I'm really grateful and happy that I've got this. So that was from Charlie. Um, then I've got some perfumes. So I've got this perfume from my mum and dad. So I used to wear this a lot when I was in like college and when I met Charlie and I wore it today and it just smells so good. It, it like brings back so many memories. So it's the YSL Mon Paris Eau de Parfum. <laughs> <laughs> perfume. So I absolutely love that. And that is the 30 mil because I don't, I've got loads of perfumes and I, otherwise if I get a big one, I won't use it all. Um, and then from my sister, she got me the Laura Mercier or Mercier Amber Vanille body spray. Um, so I kind of wanted this to wear like every day because I don't want to always wear like my expensive, nice smelling perfumes. And oh, it smells so good. Little spritz, spritz. Mm. yeah so i got that one from my sister so that's what my sister got me for my birthday um and then obviously that for my parents next bag uh we won't do that bag we'll do this so from my dad i wanted i've wanted these for ages i did want them for christmas but i never actually asked anyone for them so I was like, I'll ask them for my birthday. Um, and then my nan ended up getting them for me. They're the Play Comme des Garçons Converses. I absolutely love them. They're so comfy as well. D do you think they suit me? Yeah, they look yeah. nice today. Yeah, because I wore a long sleeved bodycon dress thing from Zara today because um, it was quite warm. And then these, nothing on my legs, obviously, because it was a dress. And these, and then my coach bag. Um, I have just cleaned them, hence why I'm touching the bottoms. Um, yeah. I absolutely love them. They are so comfy. Oh, but... Like them, really? You're not trying them on. They're a size seven. <laughs> he always thinks that my shoes will fit his feet. No. But they have kind of rubbed the backs of my leg which is a there. bit sore there oh yeah but apart from that absolutely love them so grateful because i asked my mum and dad for them but 
but she got them for me instead. But this is the main present that my mum and dad got me, which I didn't think I was going to get. Charlie knew I was getting it. Since when did you know I was getting it? Uh, so when I said, oh, I don't think I'm going to get that for my mum and dad, did you know? Yeah. Oh, and I bet you were inside like, she's got it. Oh. Anyway, it's from Louis Vuitton. I cried when I opened this, and I also cried when I opened the bag from Charlie. <laughs> um so it is a little necklace and i love it and i and i've got my i've got a necklace that i wear every day it's a little love heart but it's a chain with a little love heart on it with a t in the heart um but i just wanted something a bit more special to wear every day so what's that someone cutting their glass oh, it sounds like a big machine this is what i got this wire at Wiser. This Louis Vuitton. I think it's dog tag. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but you got a silver tag. Let me show you here. Oh, you can't really see. There you go. You got a silver tag and a gold tag, and then on the other side, it's just like. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job. It's just like that. And then obviously you got the little bit there, the little bit there. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna put it back on now as so i'm going to be wearing this every day i take it off though to go in the shower and i'll probably take it off when i'm sleeping but i love it so i don't want to take it off um so yeah that was my main present for my parents and i didn't think i was going to get it because it was quite an expensive thing for oh thank you sorry i forgot one of my presents um, yeah, I don't think I was going to get it because it is quite expensive for a piece of jewellery. Um, but yeah, to say I was shocked is an understatement because I started crying. Someone is cutting their grass. Someone is cutting their grass. Okay. Um, so I'm, right now on to like the little bits. So you would have seen that Charlie got me razor heads, which I needed, and a high, high smile clicker whitening pen. We tried that yesterday. Oh my God. <laughs> Within good. seconds of putting it on my tooth, it had whitened my teeth. And yours. It's insane. No sponsor. Uh, obviously not. <laughs> but Charlie's getting his tooth done in two weeks and I 100% think you should get it. Mm -hmm. Because he's got to try and keep his tooth nice and white. Yeah. But anyway, so then he also got me the apple watch strap which you can now see on my apple watch i thought it would go nice with the rose gold because i got this watch years ago when i was like, into rose gold jewelry and now i'm not and i didn't really want to get a rose gold strap or a black strap or anything you can get a casement that goes around it as well though. can you <laughs> what do you mean yeah you can get a casement that goes around the actual watch itself did they sell them at that shop? That's how I could look. Oh, I'll have a look. oh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so I've got this and I absolutely love it. So, because I have a rubber one and I think I'm slightly allergic to the rubber silicone one because every time I take it off, my wrists are so itchy. That's the first time I touched it when I brought it down. What, this? Yeah. Really? Because I didn't open it because I didn't want to ruin the oh. packaging. So, yeah, it's just like a little metal magnet and it wraps around your, your wrists and I love it. Oh yeah, onto the little bits. So my mum always does what she calls a bag of shiz, and then we always do it for her. Like I do it for everybody, but um, bags are really cute as well. So this is the bag of shiz. <laughs> this is the bag that my sister got. I put my perfume in, and then this is the bag that my <laughs> Louis Vuitton necklace was in. They're all from M&S because Paper Chase is shut down, which I think is really sad. But apparently they're going into Tesco's, we overheard, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, anyway. So the bag of shiz is kind of where my mum has free reign and can just go, what's it, rogue. So we have some of my fox... My... Tell me all what? <laughs> Foxes. Fox. Oh, it's my favourite chocolate. <laughs> my favourite chocolate. Ow. Um, Montezuma's giant buttons. 
They're hardly giant. They've changed. They're bloody miniature. They used to be <laughs> massive. They used to be massive. And now they're like bloody little chocolate buttons you get in the little bags of dairy milk buttons. But anyway, absolutely love them. I've already tucked into them. Um, I got these earrings. Got these hoop earrings from H&M, the conscious choice selection, uh, section. So they're just flat gold hoops. I wore them today. They're actually really comfortable. They are quite heavy. And I do find heavy earrings do start hurting my ears at the end of the day. But when I took them out, they didn't hurt at all. So I got those. Um, my mum, uh, I then got a vanilla sponge cake shower and bath gel. I absolutely love this um, this brand. They, they do some really nice stuff. Can I smell it? Yeah, it's nice. You won't be using any of that. Uh, next up, it might not be to everybody's taste, but when we went round my mum and dad's for a barbecue on Monday, um, my mum had this out on the table and I was like, oh my God, where'd you get that? Like she put her cutlery in there and her napkins and it just looked really like cool, like really nice, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And I was like, mum, where'd you get that from? She was like, I'm not telling you. And I was like, why is it she telling me? I was like, mum, where did you get it from? She was like, no, I'm not telling you. And I was like, oh, okay, you're getting water everywhere. Mom? Yeah, you spilt water there. Oh, God. I'm going on my shoes. Anyway, turns out she got me one. It's just this little tin. <laughs> Honestly, you're probably thinking, what the fuck is that? But I absolutely love it. And we're having a barbecue on Sunday. And our neighbours are coming around. And I'm doing the exact same thing as my mum's done. I'm going to put my cutlery in there with my napkins. But my mum said that you can also, like, put little herb plants in there, which I think is cool. But I think I'm just, I'm just going to keep this for the garden, yeah. that cutlery and stuff. So I absolutely love that. It was from a um, a little shop in the town that's that we go to that I've never been in. So I might pop in there when we're next in town. Um, she then got me some Oliver Bonus socks or Bonus. I don't know how you say it. They're actually really soft, and they've got little um roses on. Um, again, from Oliver Bonus or Bonus, she got me a little clip. I like little claw clips. This is one that I'll just clip like half my hair up and use. I've got that. Then got some face masks. Oh, Charlie got me face masks as well. So we got a niacinamide sheet mask and a vitamin C sheet mask. Then. Then got a Yankee Candle wax melt. This is in fresh eucalyptus, which I might put in now, actually. That smells nice. Mm, so I'll keep that out. My towel's slowly falling off my head. Um, and then the next couple of things, again, from Oliver Bonners. <laughs> this really cute little trinket dish. I thought she kept the price on the bottom then. It's a strawberry ring dish. So I'm gonna put like my my little earrings or something on there on my dressing table, and then finally again Oliver Bonus or however how you say it, some cute little earrings. I just got little flowers on. Yeah, I really like them. They're called Rosa White Flower Drop. Yeah, I love them. So when my mum goes rogue, it's not always a bad thing because me and my mum have similar style, like sense and, and like, like, like the same likes. Charlie. Anyway, my towel's coming off. I'm gonna take that off. Ooh. Rock <laughs> rat. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and just share what I got because just I wanted to, because I like being nosy and watching what people get for their birthdays. And it gives me inspiration as well if I never know what to ask for. So I thought I might as well show you. Um, it's not me bragging at all. I'm very, very grateful. Trust me, because I cried at everything that I opened. <laughs> there was this meme like video thing I came across whilst Charlie was <laughs> drying his hair from the shower. And it was this boy, he like, like young boy, I think it was like Christmas or something. 
he opened up a, a present and it was like an iPhone. And he was like, did you get this for me? He was like, English. And the, the parents were like, yeah. And he was like, you got it for me. You start crying. And I was like, that's me, honestly. It is. But yeah, that's going to end the video. Um, sorry if it wasn't much... Inter uh, sorry if it wasn't very interesting for you yesterday we literally just chilled went for breakfast we then did a, a food shop <laughs> the sunday um and then we went for a bike ride which was nice and then we fell asleep on the grass and then charlie's mum and nan came round um quickly before we went to go to my parents and we had dinner so i didn't film anything at my parents really just that last clip which was filmed on charlie's phone um but yeah we just had dinner well we went there opened presents had dinner and then had some cake do to quickly grab the cake so i can show them you saw the cake that charlie got me that was a really which we might have in a minute actually that was from the co-op they do a really nice small little chocolate cake and then my mum and dad got me this cake from m s that one how much is that? There you go. So it's called Extremely Chocolatey Chocolate Brownie Cake. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. But yeah, that is literally everything I got. And when I say literally everything I got, that sounds ungrateful, but that is everything I got. And I'm so happy with everything. Very, very grateful. I'm rambling now. I need to get this video edited so I can delete the clips off my phone and have my storage back. So... <laughs> I will see you all in next week's video.